welcome to this fall decorate with me video. I'm super excited to set up some of my decorations for this season. Fall is one of my absolute favorite seasons just because I love the weather. It's super cool and crispy outside. I love the gloomy overcast fall days and just all of the fall activities. I'm going to be decorating my living room mostly with some of the decorations I have from last year. Last year I was in an apartment, so if you guys wanna check that fall decorate with me video out, it is still up on my channel from last year. But this year I'm actually in a new house and I wanted to use some of my old decorations as well as some new decorations that were handed down to me this year. So I'm super excited to play around with some of these decorations and just get my house spruced up and ready for fall. I've been cleaning all morning. Everything is super clean and organized for the most part. And now all that's left is to just hang up these decorations and figure out where everything goes. All right, so these are some of the fall decorations I'm going to be working with. As you can see, I have this welcome fall sign here. I have a few little sculptures. I had some of these last year, especially that little hedgehog. Um, I do have this light up pumpkin here, this wooden pumpkin, some fall leaves, this little leaf tray, a candle, some leaves and pumpkins that I'm going to hang up somewhere. These are some decorative towels. And then of course I have a fall wreath and I have this little flower display here. So I'm super excited to get creative and just see kind of where I'm going to put some of these decorations around the living room. All right guys, so the first thing I did was hang up these wooden painted fall leaves. I got these at Michael's a couple years ago and I also used these in my fall decor last year. I just hung them up on the fireplace using some command strips that won't leave any markings once they're removed. And then I also added some of these burlap style fall pumpkins. These have a clip on the back of them that I just used to secure them to the garland. And I got these at Dollar Tree last year. They are in the colors beige, olive green, and orange, and I felt like they just fit in perfectly with the colors of the leaves and just kind of filled in that garland a little bit more. Then on the side table, I'm going to be laying out some of these fake plastic fall leaves in various colors. And then I have this glazed ceramic leaf here that I'm going to be placing an orange pumpkin scented candle on top of. It also has a little string of twine with a metal leaf on it. Surrounding this leaf tray, I'm going to place a pumpkin from Dollar Tree that says welcome, as well as a light up ceramic pumpkin that has holes in it where you can see light coming through. Through. I also have another side table adjacent to the same couch. So following a similar theme, I'm going to be placing down some of these plastic leaves. And then I have this little acorn hedgehog sculpture, as well as this welcome fall sign that I got at Dollar Tree. The hedgehog animal sculpture is from Michael's and it just is a very natural, cute look. And I'm also going to be filling in the space more with some of those Dollar Tree pumpkins that I have on the garland. And this is the completed side table look. I thought this was so cute. I love incorporating the fall animals. I think it just adds such a cute childlike touch to the decor. For the coffee table in the middle, I'm going to be placing down one of the decorative towels in this horizontal shape. And I'm just placing this metallic flower pot on top that's filled with fall foliage. So this is how the living room is looking so far. As you can see, I have my fall foliage pine cone pumpkin centerpiece. And then there's just these touches of fall colors in the whole living room that kind of all tied together. I wanted to put something on the wall here. So I just decided to hang up this beautiful fall wreath just to kind of tie everything together. And then I actually went back in on this side table space and I added in this wax sunflower and bee candle that I had on top of a candle holder I have from Bath and Body Works, as well as the second decorative rug that says you are the pumpkin to my spice. So this is how everything turned out in the end. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I personally love how it turned out. I just love how there's these touches of fall kind of in every corner and it really just lit up the space and brought some fall joy to my home. So jumping right into the next section of this video, I wanted to do some DIY fall glitter nails. I'm going to be using this Salon Perfect Professional Nail Liqueur. This is an orange glittery shade that I thought was perfect for the fall season. And then I'm going to be using the top coat that goes along with it that is specified for glitter nail polish. For the base coat, I'm going to be using 
using actually the OPI top coat because that's just all I had. So as you can see, this is a beautiful glittery shade. And once I apply the base coat and file my nails, I'm just going to be applying that. I did two coats of the nail polish and then I applied the top coat over top, which really helped brighten up my nails and give them that glossy gel nail like finish. This literally looked like a professional manicure that I did at home. It saved me so much money and I'm going to be using this fall color all throughout this season. These are just some clips of the final result. The camera definitely did not capture how pretty the glitter was. I tried to get some pictures with the flash on just to show you guys a little bit more. So this next section is just going to be me browsing some of the fall items at Walmart. Of course they had these beautiful pumpkins out on display right in the front of the store. They had these gourd-like patterns, white pumpkins, and then the classic orange in different sizes. Of course they have all of the Halloween candy and here are some of the inflatables and Halloween costumes. I love browsing these sections. I'm definitely not in the budget to add to my collection. All of my house decor was from previous years or something my family member had given me, but I just like to browse the shelves sometimes and just to get into that fall spirit. I love to look at the decor items and some of the Halloween stuff. So as you can see, they have some beautiful pumpkin displays of different patterns and colors. They have some beautiful fall wreaths, of course, and then they have some Halloween items like these tablecloths and Halloween themed cups and plates that would be perfect for a party. I'm also going to be browsing the Halloween and fall themed items in the beauty section. I saw these really cute soaps, which would be super fun if you wanted to do a Halloween themed bathroom for some kids. I'm focused on my career right now, but when I do become a mom, I definitely want to be that person that kind of decorates and makes the holiday seasons really fun and exciting. I'm also going to be browsing these Halloween nails. I thought these were super cute. I'm trying to stay away from press on nails because I find that they do kind of damage my nails a little bit and I'm trying to keep them healthy, but I couldn't resist looking at all of these cute pumpkin, ghost, and Halloween themed patterns. I do have an exciting plan coming up. I'm going to be going up north for the fall, so I will be enjoying some of the beautiful fall foliage and mountains. Dove also has some fall scents out. They have the holiday treat scent, some apple cider, and cinnamon pumpkin pie scents, which would be perfect for a fall spa night or pamper routine. I also really liked these felt style pumpkins, and the Halloween blankets were also super cute and cozy as well. Speaking of cute and cozy, I'm going to be making some of these pumpkin cream cheese cookies. These are just a perfect way to end this cold, crisp fall night. I was cozy inside and I just enjoyed some of these sweet treats. So these have a pumpkin cream cheese flavor. They are pretty sweet, but I do enjoy them. So I just had these with a glass of milk with some zero sugar pumpkin spice creamer as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fall themed video. I have some exciting plans coming up so make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. I really appreciate your guys support and let me know in the comments below what you guys are most excited about this fall. I hope everyone is doing well and are following their goals. I'm really excited to share some fall memories with you guys. This is my favorite time of the year so I'm looking forward to more videos coming up soon now that I have some more free time. I am starting a new job in October but until then I'm going to be doing a lot of video editing and filming and I can't wait to connect with you guys soon. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next video.